Hi, this is Susie from MacLife, and we're here with the new 11.6 inch MacBook Air. That's the new Air there on the right. And to its left is the MacBook Pro, which is my work machine. It's the 15 inch Core i7 MacBook Pro. That's a 2.66 gigahertz processor. And the MacBook Air over here is the 1.4 gigahertz Intel Core, du Core 2 Duo processor. Um, we're going to run some speed tests, launch some apps side by side, and see which run a little faster. Now, the MacBook Pro on the right has more RAM. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, and the MacBook Air um, on the right has 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, other than that, the specs are almost the same. The um, MacBook Pro also has a, a faster catch. It's got a 4 megabyte L3 catch to the MacBook Air's 3 megabyte L2 catch. So you might see some differences there, but the big thing is that the operating system and applications on the MacBook Pro are stored on a traditional SATA hard drive, and the operating system and applications on the MacBook Air are stored on flash memory that's right on the logic board. So flash memory tends to launch things a lot faster, solid state, no moving parts. So let's see how this affects different launch times of the applications. We've got iLife 11 on both of these machines. So let's take it from for a spin and see what kind of launches we get. We're going to start here with iTunes. This is iTunes 10. And I'll launch both simultaneously. Ready, go. About the same. Now let's try iPhoto. This is iPhoto 11. It just came out today. And you see the MacBook Air launched iPhoto a lot faster, but it's not really a super fair comparison since I've got photos in my library on the MacBook Pro, as you can see, and none yet in the library on the MacBook Air. So that one's kind of cheating. So let's try iMovie. See that also launched faster on the air, but again, the MacBook Pro has a couple of projects in the library already. Okay, GarageBand. There's nothing in the GarageBand libraries on either of these machines. And the MacBook Pro looked like it inched out the air on that one. Let's try iWeb. This is iWeb 11, but it's not really different from iWeb 10, but they did still keep it in the iLife suite. Much faster on the air. iDVD, go. Again, faster on the air by a couple of seconds. Ready, go. There we go. Faster on the air again. I've got both the same mail accounts, accounts set up in both of these, so this should be a good one-to-one -one comparison. Ready, go. Faster on the air, go. Uh, the air started up faster and loaded the page a lot faster. These are both on the same Wi-Fi network, so saw faster times with the air. iChat. I got the same iChat account going on both of these. And it looks like the Air wins again. Address book. Air is faster. iCal. About the same. It looks like the Air inched it out by a little bit, but virtually, virtually neck and neck on those. So there you go. It looks like the Air is a speed demon at launching applications. Um, its flash memory also lets it do instant on, so when you open it up, it'll just bounce right um, back. And the power button, which is on the, the top row of buttons on the keyboard, um, also turns it on really, really fast. So there's our first speed test, and we'll be doing a full review with benchmarks, of course, of the MacBook Air, so look for that on MacLife.com. Thanks for watching.